The Ohio State Highway Patrol wants to recruit more women. Yeah, it's hosting a Women's Academy Readiness Seminar on April 6, where women can learn more about what it takes to do the job. During this Women's History Month, Carla Rogner met with female state troopers from our community to learn what led them to the career path and why they hope to see more women follow suit. On the walls of the State Trooper Academy are the stories of the women who shattered the glass ceiling of the State Highway Patrol, like Trooper Diane Harris. She was the first female to graduate from the Academy in 1977. Of Trooper Diane Harris, we actually tr uh, changed our names from being Ohio Patrolmen to Ohio Troopers. The next classroom over dedicated to Lieutenant Colonel Marla Gaskill, the first female pilot, and Major Lisa Taylor, the first woman promoted as lieutenant. Because of these other two women, um, I think they forged a path for other females in the Ohio State Highway Patrol to reach these heights and reach these ranks that females before them didn't think was possible. Their story's inspiration for the women who came after, like Sergeant Bridget Matt. She's also often the face of the department in the public affairs unit. One thing that I've learned is that I can be a state trooper, but I can also be a mother, a wife, and go back to school and I'm getting my master's degree right now. So you can do many things at once and still be a good trooper. Sergeant Matt is one of 104 women who are state troopers in Ohio. A number Lieutenant Brittany Noah in the Office of Recruitment and Diversity wants to see grow. I think the more women that you have in a workforce, it kind of gives a different perspective for those individuals that we're serving, right? And then it helps us kind of give a different perspective within our division too. Lieutenant Noah says the biggest challenge in recruiting women into this male-dominated profession is getting them interested. I think anybody who's self-motivated, self-driven, um, anybody who's up for any t type of challenge, if you want to push yourself beyond the limits that you of anything that you've ever done, I think that you'd be a perfect fit for our division. A big goal of mine is empowering women and knowing that women can be strong and we can fight. Trooper Holly Chesnick spends her days training the next generation of troopers and prides herself in showing women that they can do this job. We've all been in a position where we think maybe I'm not quite strong enough, and yes, you are. That's a mentality that you have to have. You have, a, have to have a no-quit mentality. There are currently nine women going through training at the State Trooper Academy, a sign of how far the department has come. And the pictures on the classroom walls also a reminder of how far it still has to go. It actually took 44 years for us to incorporate female at the table, um, but we're glad we finally did and we've definitely made some large strides since then. And right now, just under 8% of about 1,300 troopers are women. The department has set a goal to have 30% of its troopers be women by the year 2030. Like she said, it took many, many years to get there. Now they're at the table. They're yeah. eating. Eating at the yeah. table. They're there. They're making, you know, <laughs> making their mark. I think it's, it's pretty awesome. It really is. It is. And I thought it was interesting, too, that the name trooper is because of the first woman. They changed from patrolman to troopers. To trooper. Yeah. 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 There you go. Now they're all troopers. So. Definitely.